Okay, so for this schizophrenic run, our occupation is going to be as a mechanic. Our negative traits are that we are obese. Obviously, we have schizophrenia. We're a slow learner. We're depressive, and we're a smoker. We do get the burglar trait from the mechanic option, so that will allow us to break into cars and hopefully hotwire them. Our positive traits are that we are sneaky. We're a pack mule. We're an outdoorsman. We have second wind, and we are strong. And here will be our protagonist for the video, Columbus Doherty. Uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, so you guys often ask me what mods I use my videos. I will leave the entire list of mods at the end of the video, so do stay tuned if you are interested. Okay, so you join us today with our little friend Columbus. Now, Columbus, um, unfortunately, has schizophrenia, and he's found himself stood outside the gates of a giant mansion. He has absolutely no idea how he got here. In fact, he doesn't really know where he is in general. And we're going to see how long we can survive here with poor Columbus. First and foremost, I do want to try and get into this mansion. I've never been to it before, so I'll be interested to see what it has to offer. Uh, I've got a feeling this is going to have a ridiculous amount of loot. In fact, I'm already seeing trailers and vehicles, so... This looks like it's going to be a little bit insane. Wow. What a location this is, by the way. Like, this literally seems to have everything you need to survive. Like, this would be an amazing little home to have. Um, however, of course, it'd be way too boring if I stayed here. God, it even has a fishing pier and everything. Oh, my God. Wow. So cool, man. I don't normally spawn in with no knowledge of the map, so I feel like this is going to be quite difficult. Ooh. It's a little farm. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Cool. <laughs> We're not going to find any weapons up here? I mean, that's quite disappointing. This house would be wicked once uh, Build 42 introduces like animals and things. Just having a nice little farm in a big mansion. It'd be lovely. Oh, this house is lovely. Very nice and big. Let's get life and living on just so it's ready in case we need it. Uh, if you are interested, these are Columbus's starting stats that we're working with. As you can see, he's quite strong, but he's not in the best of shape. He's got a little bit of metalworking knowledge and a little bit of mechanics. So he's uh, he's fairly well equipped, but we need to get him pretty good at combat. We have found a medical magazine uh, in the basements, volume two, electronics, volume one, carpentry, volume one, and anything else that we can find. There's stealth, volume one, uh, a good cooking magazine. Very nice. And we're going to find anything else in it. Oh, we have just found a hammer. There we go. We'll take the hammer, attach that to our belt. There's a fair bit of food here that we can use. That's not too bad. Uh, there is also a zombie for us to make friends with. Okay. Ooh. I don't normally have this setting on, but I've currently got it, so we raise our fists when we're not equipped with a weapon. So we're going to try and punch this zombie to death. Look at that. Nice little right hook. Now, if you are interested in me doing maybe like a Mike Tyson run, do let me know in the comments. I think that could be quite fun to do, especially if we uh, get the schizophrenic mod uh, installed. And all I go around doing is punching zombies. Ooh. Plenty of food in this. Uh, car zone, we will take that because I think we can learn some car skills from it. Ooh, we have found a car key. Very nice. We've also found an episode of The Cook Show. Okay. Exposure Survival Episode 1. Beautiful. Exposure Survival Episode 2. Uh, Woodcraft Episode 3. Oh my god. I feel like I've cheated a little bit with this spawn. This is insane. Right, because it's nearly time for the carpentry show, I think I am going to sit us down on the ground. In fact, no, hold on. Let me, let me sit on this chair. And we're going to start reading Carpentry Volume 1 whilst we wait for the Carpentry Show to come on. Okay, we actually managed to finish that. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to read Electronics Volume 1. Uh, we're going to read The Good Cooking Magazine. We're going to read In the Basements Volume 2. We're going to read Stealth Volume 1. We're going to read The Medical Magazine. And that should do us for now whilst we wait for the Carpentry Show. I'm a cow. Okay, we have actually learned our first skill which is carpentry. In fact, we've gone up two levels in carpentry thanks to us reading carpentry level one. Okay, cool. Let's uh, go wandering around the house a little bit more. In fact, we'll just have a quick snack before we do so. I think I'm going to uh, eat this entire frozen ham. Mm, delicious frozen ham. Have a quick drink as well. Very nice. Ooh, I thought they were zombies, but no, we have model mannequins. Okay, that's... A little bit weird. Ooh, a crash helmet. We'll wear that. And a rookie freedom jacket. Yeah, we'll wear that with the hood down. Some James Sunderland jeans. I mean, I do like our barbershop jeans, but I think it's time we change it up. Ooh, actually, you know, these 511 Defender Flex jeans. Hell yes, we'll wear these. Okay, we've changed our appearance very quickly, Columbus. Painkillers and sleeping tablets. We'll abuse those later. We've got some alcohol wipes, cotton wool, and adhesive bandages. Uh, ooh, schizophrenic medicine. We are going to need this. Painkillers and alcohol wipes as well. Uh, 
Uh, oh my god, we found another pair of trousers, this time sort of army-based ones, so we'll wear those. Right, some bandages, we'll take these. We'll wear these surgical gloves, just for, uh, to keep our hands nice and protected for now. We have also found a stranger's red striped boxes, so we'll wear those too, of course. I hope they're, uh, they're newly used. Oh my god, this is a weapons room. Genuinely, I promise, I have never used this map before, I did not know this was a thing. Oh my god! Um, oh my god. I do not know anything about any of these weapons, by the way, because I've never actually used this trait before. Okay, we're screaming and shouting to ourselves. Oh god. Oh, I'm really confused. I don't know. I don't know which gun's which. M16A2? Uh, M are these... Oh my god. I think we'll probably end up taking this, to be fair. The M16A2. Ammo sling. Is that better than our current one? I don't think it is. An M14 magazine. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, they go together. That's quite cool. Oh, ammo pouches. Okay, we're going to wear this instead of the ammo sling. Oh, guys, I'm really confused. I don't know what these weapons are and what they do. I don't know a lot about guns. Right, what magazine does this have? Wait, it's, a, it's one of these magazines. And we've just seen one of these in here, haven't we? Yes, yes. So it's these that we need. So 5.56 times 45 ammo is what we need. Okay, there's more ammo there. God, I'm really stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it's best to start with a shotgun straight away, but I, I sort of can't be asked. I think, is this a shotgun? I think, yes, it is a shotgun. Okay, we might come back downstairs for this. Again, I, I apologize for all the people that know what they're doing with guns. I genuinely just don't know. <laughs> and then we're going to insert magazine, we're going to insert bullets in all of these magazines. Okay, I'm going to make you all a deal. Because I feel so scummy about this start, we are only going to take this one gun. We're going to leave absolutely all of the other ones, because otherwise it's just way too easy of a start. Okay, we are going to take one of these pills as well for our schizophrenia, just because obviously we had that little bit of a panic when we came in here. We are also extremely on edge, so I think we'll have a nice little smoke as well. Okay, let's take a quick drink. Again, for those of you that may still not be happy about this start, just remember how terrible I am at this game. <laughs> I need all the advantages I can get, let's be real. I love, I just love how it looks when he holds his fists up. Yeah, a little uppercut, one, two. Come on. Yeah, cool. He doesn't quite understand a one-two. Ooh. Oh, there is a nail gun. I think we're going to have to take this. The amount of times I've picked one of these up in past videos and I've not used one, I'm, I've got to do it this time. Ooh, Home Alone 2 poster. Arguably the better of the two Home Alone films. I think I'm just biased because I loved that film as a kid. I used to watch Home Alone uh, all the time, like even during uh, like the summer and stuff as a kid. I just couldn't get enough of it. Ooh, Railway Spiked Hammer. Equipped in both hands. Athletic Sprinting Book. We'll take that. Uh, there is Metal work volume one we'll take you mechanics volume two we can read that so we'll take it another screwdriver another hammer oh a bush ah oh, it's battered i can't be bothered oh a steel helmet we'll wear that hell yes wow this base is actually unreal this is something where you know if i were to play in my own spare time i'd probably give myself something like this <laughs> right let's have a, a little glass of water right we'll have this strawberry milk as well okay now it's only half an hour till the next life and living program so i'll tell you what let's sit on the ground and I'm going to read our athletics sprinting book very quickly. Uh, we're also going to read mechanics volume two. We're going to read metal work volume one. And I believe that is all of them. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll just wait for the next life and living show. Okay. I wonder what Dean's going to teach us today. Okay. He's going to teach us how to fish. Hell yeah. Okay. That puts us on fishing level one. Perfect. Okay. Let's get up and let's get going. Oh my God. There's a bar and there's a gym. What's the actual fuck? Oh my God. This is ridiculous. I mean... If we get a backpack now, we're pretty much set and ready to go. Right, I think we will try out that running machine before we push on as well. Oh my god. We will take this empty flask and we'll fill that with water. Right, let's fill up our flask. Anything cool in here? Oh my god, the size of these rooms. My god. Right, electronics volume four. We're going to read that straight away and we're going to take the flashlight as well. Vitamins, we'll take those. A little bit weird that there's three beds in this uh, mansion. There's not really a lot of bedrooms considering how big the whole thing is. Cooking volume one. Yes, please. Stocking suspender belt. Yeah, why not? Okay, I think that is all of it. It's a bit strange that there's only one bedroom. That's very peculiar, I'll be honest. Are we able to play these? Is there anything we can do with that? No, that's a bit annoying. That'd be kind of cool if you could play them. Right, it's getting quite late, so I'm thinking maybe we... I love how it's called a hamster wheel. <laughs> can we actually use this? Is that, that a thing? No, how do I... I thought you could use treadmills in this game. Oh, that's well annoying. Right, if I... Unless I click exercise. Oh, I'm gutted. Oh, no, no, no. Right, what if I just run like this on the spot? Is this going to do anything? Is this... Is this improving my sprinting? If I just run on the spot? I don't think it's doing anything. Is this 
really not. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, this is working. I didn't know this was a thing. You can literally just sprint on the spot. That's sick. I think I'm just gonna abuse this until we get to level one sprinting. Come on, let's go, pet fella. Let's go. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> right, okay. We're very quickly getting through this sprinting skill. Oh no, I ran off it. Can someone tell me in the comments if there is a way of actually using the treadmill or if I'm somehow doing this correctly or... <laughs> Uh, I'd really appreciate some help. Okay, this uh, sprinting skill hasn't moved up in a while. <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, I'm just giving up on that. We need a little bit of food, so I think I saw some chips behind the bar, so maybe we'll... Yeah, some chips here. We'll eat those. I mean, we haven't managed to find a... Um, I mean, we haven't managed to find a backpack here, but I don't really think I've got a position to complain considering all the good stuff we have found. Let's get this TV on as well in case we want to use it in the morning. Let's go to bed. What a great first day that we've had. All right, we're up at a stupid time in the morning. Let's just sit down. Uh, we do have Cooking Volume 1. We're going to read that straight away. We're also going to have a nice little cigarette to start the day off as well. God, we are severely depressed. We don't have any antidepressants, do we? Right, okay. Sit down in front of the TV and I don't really want to spend a lot of my time in front of the TV during this run, so I think we're going to start with with putting Adventure Survival Episode 1 in. Right, okay, now let's tune back into Life and Living because we're about to catch the cook show. Uh, we don't have any cooking skills, so it should shoot up now that we've read Volume 1 of the book. Yep, we've gone up two levels in that. That's fantastic. Right, get the TV going again. Right, we're going to watch Car Zone Episode 3. Let's watch this. Okay, what's that improved? Okay, we've gone up another skill in mechanics from that. Sick. Um, right, let's take out that tape. We're gonna put Exposure Survival Episode 2 in. What are you gonna teach us today, Dean? Dean has taught us another level of fishing. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna eject that. And then what we're gonna put in this time, we're gonna put the Cook Show Episode 7 on. Okay, that didn't teach us another level of cooking, but I'm not really too bothered, to be honest. And then we do have Woodcraft Episode 3 here, so we'll play that as well. Okay, that hasn't taught us level three. That's not ideal, but at least we've got a good amount of skills here from all of these. Let's drop these tapes now. All right, let's pop up now. We do need a water bottle, so I'm thinking we go to the bar, down an entire bottle of alcohol. Yes, instead of pouring it out, we're going to down the whole bottle, because why waste it? And then we'll use that as a water bottle. I think what we're going to have, we're going to down this entire bottle of white wine. It is only 10 to 10 in the morning, so this is quite the uh, start to the day, I must say. Okay, we are plastered. Now, let's take another little cigarette because we are a bit on edge. All right, let's fill up our wine bottle and our flask, of course. I kind of forgot we had the flask, I can't lie. Okay, now, before we set off, I think I might have this entire pasta. Okay, I can't, I have to cook it and I cannot be bothered doing that, if I'm completely honest. Right, we'll take these canned peas. Uh, we're going to eat all of this processed cheese and this lemon. And we'll take the Charleston Chew Vanilla. For God's sake, we are getting drowsy again. Oh, this this is the car that we have. Okay. I don't know if I actually want this car, if I'm completely honest. Is there anything in it? Oh my god, there's an axe. We'll take that. There's also an empty bottle and some duct tape. Let me go fill up the empty bottle now. Alright, let's let's see what condition this in, is in, to be fair. Okay, it is in good condition. It might be worth us taking it. Right, you know what? <sighs> I'm just... I want to get on with this. So, I'm just going to quickly take a nap in the car so we're not as tired. Okay, perfect. Right. Let me check out these two little nomad vehicles and see what condition they're in. I will only take this car if it's in better condition than both of them. Okay, that's locked anyway. Okay, both of them are locked, so we are actually going to take this car. Okay, we're hearing gunfire. Where the hell are our meds? <laughs> Pop a pill straight away. Yeah, take that tablet. <laughs> we need to chill, bro. Okay, hold on. I think I'm going to put the weapon that we're currently holding in the back of the car, and we're going to use the axe for now. The axe is completely battered. Oh, for God's sake. Right, Um, let me put the axe back in the back. We need to try and find some wood glue. All right, okay, we you know, don't know anything about where we are, so let's just push out and have a little adventure. Why not? Oh, I do really want that storage thing. Right, hop out. Attach that. Oh, hell yes. Okay. Oh, come on. Please don't get stuck. Right, let's see if there's anything at the fishing pier. Again, I, I think I've mentioned in a past video, I've never actually fished in this game. So I would quite like to have a quick go at that. Okay, no, never mind. There's no fishing gear, so no fishing for us today. Do we go check out this little area over there next? I think 
we should try and find a way around there. Okay, let's get going. Hey, one positive part to this really easy start that we've had is at least we're not just wasting a load of time at the beginning watching TV and trying to get our stats up. We've got a load of good items and it means we can go and explore straight away. What the hell is this opposite us, by the way? Is this a military base or something? Because I'm seeing blue buildings. Okay, the car is struggling a little bit with this attached. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think that is a military base. Okay, I'm not too familiar with this part of the map, so sorry if uh, I've got that wrong, but oh God. Okay, I really wanna go raid that. All right, you know what? We can move all of this out of the way. Okay, it's trying to make me put the poster down. That's annoying. Right, let's put the film poster in the car just so we don't try and place that. Right, I think we're gonna try and raid this military bit. All right, let's disassemble these roadblocks. Okay, we have just cleared the way, so we now have a road into this little military spot. Now, so it's getting fairly late at night, so I probably should be a little bit more careful, but uh, when do I ever do that? Let's be real. See, there's Charleston Chew as well, and then I think we're going to push in. Okay, brilliant. Oh my god, what a spot this is. All right, there's a lot of zombies nearby, so let's just kill what we can. Uh, yes, by the way, I do have multi-hit on. I've tried to do a few videos recently without multi-hit on, and I am just too terrible at the game. <laughs> Let me have my handicaps, okay? Okay, we have found some military boots. We'll wear those. Alright, let's pull on through. Okay, I would love one of these Hummers, by the way. Oh, shit. Okay, busy little area, this. Oh, is that a, a pickup version of a Hummer? That would be the perfect vehicle, I can't lie. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to have to do the stupid thing that I always do. Apart from this time, we don't have a shotgun. We're going straight in with this. Okay. I think I'm going to regret this. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god. Okay, I've done something very stupid here because I don't have enough ammo. Oh my god, there's so many cool vehicles around here. Okay, at least we're improving our reloading skill right now. I'm going to run ahead. I'm going to detach our car from the trailer. Uh, I'm going to do this. I know it's bad to destroy the one vehicle we have so far. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to have to loop back around to the car. All right, follow me, guys. Oh, fuck, we are getting tired. Oh, my God, there's so much ammo we can get here. Ugh. Okay, we've gone up our one level in sprinting. Okay, okay, be quick, be quick. Get in the car. Okay. We have just hit our second win, so we're no longer tired. I'm just going to use the car to kill as many zombies as possible. Right, okay. I saw a military backpack on one of these, so I do want to take that. Okay, no, hold on. Where's our hammer? Nice. Okay, okay. Large backpack. Okay, equipped on back. Okay, I'm going to quickly check out some of these other vehicles, just because we are going to need something to get away in, uh, should we need it. Disassemble this door. Uh, there are shotgun shells in there. That's not really ideal to us, so we'll leave that. Now, can I get in this truck? No, I can't, so we need to try and find a key for that. Okay, anything in you? Okay, the back's locked. Um, this, oh, okay, this is the vehicle I wanted as well. Let me see if we can get in this Hummer. No, locked as well. Okay. Three or eight rounds. Okay, we'll take these in case we find a suitable weapon. There's a holster. We'll wear that as well. Another one of these magazines. Um, some more of this ammo as well. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Antidepressants and beta blockers. We'll take those. More antidepressants. There's an M14 here as well. My word. More of this ammo too. A bandage, 
Right, I think we need to find somewhere to rest for the night. Oh my god, they're all locked. You know what, I'll check here to see if we can find any nails, because we do have the nail gun. Now, I've smashed the front windshield of our car, so it would be a very bad move to sleep in there. Have any of you got a key that we can take, maybe, just to see if we can get in any of these buildings without having to break our way in? Okay, that one's open. Is this going to be open as well? Okay, I think we're clear up here. Oh god, let's find a light switch. Ooh, a dance mag, we'll take that. Ooh, there's a key here. Oh my god, I don't know which vehicle that is, but we'll take it. Perfect. I was hoping, I mean, I was getting worried that we weren't going to be able to get a vehicle after uh, just destroying the one that we had. Ooh, balcony. Yeah, no thanks. We're going to sleep on this chair. Okay, we're going to sleep on this chair. There you go. Um... Oh, fuck. We really need some food. Uh, we do have these canned peas. Let's open the canned peas. Okay, is there anything cool in here? Right, disassemble this door. Ooh, more lockers in here. Okay. Ooh, an MRE. That's perfect. We need one of them. Okay, I, I really don't know what the other ammo is, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, we're already very hungry. So where's that MRE? We're going to eat... We're going to eat half the MRE. It's very crunchy, whatever's in there. All right, is there anything else going to be in here? Ooh, hold on. Let's wear this. Railroad hammer. Let's put that in our inventory. Three more axes. Okay, we'll take them. Okay, I'm only going to take two of them because there's just too many. There is a sh... Oh, uh, we'll take that axe and we'll take this shovel. God, there's so many axes. Ooh, dead rat. We'll take you as a friend. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh... Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Oh, there is a kitchen. Okay. Oh, food. Nice. We'll take all of that. Oh, there is some cereal on the side here. So we're going to grab that. Look at all this food. Lovely stuff. Loads of canned food. Okay. Okay. Let's take all of this. Loads of food for us to have. Oh my God. The ice cream. We're going to eat all of this straight away. Okay. What have we got the key to? Oh, fuck. Yes. This is what we've got the key to. Oh my God. This is the exact vehicle I wanted. Okay, the lock is broken. I don't like the fact that the locks are broken and that we can only get out one side of the car. <laughs> Either way, this will be our vehicle unless we find another one here. Why can we not unlock the door? That's really annoying. Okay, so that will be our vehicle for now, unless we find anything else. Let's go use the old car to go run over some more zombies. Oh, hello all. How you all doing? Good morning. There's a lot of farmers at this military base. That's quite strange. Right, let's have a flick through these dead bodies. That's quite a weird way of putting it. <laughs> Ooh, the ghillie suit. Do we wear this? Oh, fuck, hello. Right, wear the ghillie suit. We haven't had a, um, an outbreak or anything recently. Our schizophrenia seems to be... Uh, Holding back quite nicely. Anything else here that's going to do us any good? I'm not really seeing anything. Let's check out these other huts real quick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, M14 and the M14 magazine, they're coming with us. This ammo is coming with us as well. The box of M MREs is definitely coming too. Antibiotics, 308 rounds, uh, painkillers. Okay, nice. We're going to need to lob some of this in the back of the cars immediately, though. All right, open up the back of this. Oh, hello. Where do you come from? Oh, for God's sake, I forgot the lock's broken. <laughs> right, let's just lob all the weapons that we don't need right now in the back of this. All right, take all of this, and we'll go lob it in the Hummer. My word, we have got such a good <laughs> loot right now. This is insane. All right, rat. We're going to eat this uncooked rat, because that's uh, never gone to backfire at all before. Uh, I have just noticed we did have cereal to eat anyway, so <laughs> I've just done that very unnecessarily. Oh, Dawn of the Dead poster. We'll have that. Hopefully it's the original and not the uh, crappy remake. Oh, is this more weapons? All right, we'll take this for when we run out. We'll take that ammo. We'll take this 308 rounds. Do we take one of the shotguns? I feel like we probably should. Um, maybe we'll come back for it. Oh, hello, zombie. Whoa. Oh, hell yeah, drug pipe. It always comes back to the drug pipe, doesn't it? Box of MREs, okay. Military bulletproof vest. Hell to the yes, please. Ooh, double holster. We'll wear this. Oh, that's a stack of shotgun. Oh, okay. Oh, we are getting sick from that um, rat that I ate. I feel like I probably should have seen that coming. Oh, hello. Where did all of you come from? I have no clue where these came from.
God, we are getting extremely stressed and panicked. Where are our cigarettes? We need to take one. Dawn of the Dead poster we'll put in the back. We'll put the drug pipe with all the weapons because what a combo that is. Right, open all four of these just so we've got some more ammo on us. Oh, I am hearing a zombie nearby. Oh, you fucker. Okay, tweezers. They'll probably come in handy at some point. We can pluck our eyebrows. Right, alcohol wipes. More painkillers. Definitely going to need them. Okay, cool. That's pretty much everything we need out of here. Before we check out any more of this base, because we are getting a bit sick and a bit tired, we probably should take some time to rest. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't explore this bit earlier. All right, we've found a guns volume book for aiming. We'll take that. Ooh, fishing volume two. We'll take that. Farming volume one. Very nice. Trapping volume one. Yes, please. Oh, hell yeah. More stuff to loot. We can actually sleep in a bed tonight as well. All right, we're just going to sit on the ground for the rest of this night because we are getting quite tired. So we're going to read trapping volume one. We're going to read guns air volume one for aiming. We're going to read fishing volume two. We're going to read farming volume one. We're going to read this dance magazine for the Macarena. Very nice. And that is all of our books. So we'll just power through these. Oh, fuck off. That made me jump and I knew it wasn't there. I love how he just kept reading, by the way, but he still screamed in panic. Okay, because we just had that little uh, episode, we're going to pop one of these pills. I think we're also going to have a quick cigarette as well. Right, God, we are absolutely exhausted. So let's just send ourselves straight to bed. We've woken up at 10 to 3 in the morning. Oh, God. Um, all right, let's just tidy up our uh, everything else. God, we are very depressed. Let's take one of these. All right, let's push out. Oh, God, we can't see shit down here. Oh, fuck a duck. Right, let's get exploring. I wonder if I can repair the lock on this car. Surely I should be able to. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've just left the fucking lights on. Ah. Ah, oh, no. I've made this so much worse for me. Right. Ah. We're just going to have to check out these other vehicles as well, aren't we? All right, let me switch the lights off to this. That was... I don't know what I managed to do there. All right, let's check out these little huts. Oh, there's changing rooms in here. This might need more armor. Sleeping tablets, take those. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hello. I'm just going to check out these lockers if you don't mind. Okay, nothing in them. Oh, fuck. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god. 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 There's so much. More MREs. M14 magazine. A recoil pad. Take that. Why not? Right. Take this ammo. My word. Oh my god. 308 rounds. M14. More ammo. I actually can't believe how much loot is here. My word. And I've got extremely rare loot on as well. And it's just so much stuff here. An M24. Okay, we'll take that. Where's this M24? What ammo does this take? Oh, we need we need that ammo. 7.62. Whatever that is. Is there any of that in here? Yes, 7.62 ammo. Cool. I'm getting overwhelmed by how much stuff we're getting here. My word. 7.62. Yep, yeah, more 308 as well. More of this as well. Okay, love that one as well. Okay, cool. Oh, ooh, cool. That's a cool magazine. Another M14. We don't really need that, I guess. Um, we will, t we will just take it. Another M24. Yeah, why not? Okay, I don't seem to be able to take it. Put that in the backpack. M60 magazine. Yeah, sure. Uh, a rifle sling. Oh my god. Right, let's just lob all of this in the car. I hope I actually get to try all of these weapons. And again, I've not really used this mod before, so uh, I'm a little bit confused of what's what, <laughs> if I'm completely honest. Right, quickly load up the back before any zombies find us. Right, open all of this ammo. All eight? Is that how many I've got? Jesus Christ. Hopefully we're going to get a second win soon because it's only eight in the morning and we are completely battered. Oh my God. 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 How is there this much? Oh wow. Oh wow. M24 in the backpack. Right, take this. Oh, this is so confusing when you don't really know a lot about guns. <laughs> this just gets so confusing. M16A2, another one. M14 magazine, another Stang magazine, oh my god, another, oh, an M16A1, an M24, more of these rounds, more Stang magazines, ooh, thigh shotgun shell holder, cool, what the hell is this, armour, okay, wear it, god, we're very slow at reloading, let me just give up on that for now, because we've got such a heavy load, right, let me fill 
all of these magazines. Right, hopefully this will really level up our reloading. You know what, I've just realized if we do end up finding another vehicle, I've just put all of our weapons in the back of this one. <laughs> so I'm giving myself an absolute mission to take everything back out and reload whatever else we use. Okay, we've hit reloading level two. Have we managed to fill all of them? We have managed to fill all of them. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, now this does seem like a stupid idea, but we are extremely tired. So I think we're just going to take a quick nap in the car. Okay, we are getting a bit of corpse sickness. Whoa, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. There's a zombie there. How did you sleep through all of that? Right, okay, let's get looting again. Am I even carrying another melee weapon on me? I don't think I am. That's a bit stupid of me. I was literally just thinking to myself, like, I wonder when that was going to break. Right, okay, axe, axe, axe. Okay, maybe not. Um, I've really cocked this up. Let me just lure them all away quickly. Let me have a quick smoke just whilst I think of what to do. All right, quick, 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 quick. Just grab it, just grab it. Nice, okay, we've got an axe. We just are going to end up having to change vehicle, aren't we? Let me hotwire this. Okay, <laughs> we have found another Hummer there. There's just no fuel in it. Now, what about this big unit over here? Oh Christ, it is open and it has got a key. Now, this would be so cool. Oh, and it's in good condition as well. I'm tempted, I can't lie. God, it does make my game lag a little bit driving it though. I'm really tempted. Oh my God, empty gas can. Oh, let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me have a look at its condition actually. I don't know if the engine's at the front or the back on these. Yeah, I think it is at the back. Oh, oh, it's in very good condition. It doesn't have a windshield though, okay. Oh wait, no, that's the armor. I think we might have to take it. Considering how bad I am with driving, it'd make sense to have something that sturdy. Although I feel like I'd struggle driving around in something like that. A 50 foot woman poster. I mean, I just am going to have to see what that looks like. There is a generator here as well. We will take that in a moment. More 308 ammo. Cool, we'll take that. Oh my God, there's even more ammo. Um, Honestly, what was I expecting? Like, I don't know how I didn't expect to find this much stuff at a literal mili like military zone. <laughs> oh my god. Even more ammo. Okay. Oh my god. This is this is more. M another M16. More of this ammo. Another one of these magazines. More MREs. Another one of those. Okay, I'm going to stop taking those magazines now. I don't think we need more than 11 of them. Let's be real. Now, I do have a holster for handguns. I just cannot be bothered searching them at the moment. Another M14 magazine and another box of 308 rounds. Oh, God. And we're not even like halfway through all of these ones as well. There's another generator in here. An armband. Yeah, we'll wear that. We are just dripped out. Again, to remind you, we are on extremely rare loot as well. So I don't even want to know how much stuff we would find here had I not put it down that low. Helmet visor. Okay, cool. We'll put that on for extra bite defense. More 308. More 308. More of whatever that is. Okay, there's an MRE here. We're going to eat that. Jesus Christ, I'm actually getting sick of looting. I never thought I'd uh, say that. I just, I, I think we've got too much ammo. Like, I guarantee our guns are going to break at some point and I'm going to be annoyed at myself for not taking the extra guns. Let's go grab one of those generators and then we're going to push back round to our vehicle and where everything is. God, my back is going to be absolutely breaking. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I've just realised. I think this can connect to the truck trailer thing. Let me have a look. This is gonna be really difficult for getting in and out of cities, by the way. So I might just be making things a lot harder. Let's have a look. Okay, no, they, they don't connect. I think we just are gonna to have to take this big unit. I don't think it's safe uh, only being able to get out the right hand side of the Hummer. I think that'd end up killing me. I love how we're still wearing our yellow clip on bow tie, by the way, <laughs> along with uh, all of this. All right, let me move the Hummer around to the back of that trailer and I will just transfer everything over to it. Yes, I believe this is the Hummer, yeah, the trunk of the Hummer. So we're gonna take absolutely all of that and transfer it directly into the trailer. Oh, zombies noticed us. We haven't seen one of you in a while. For fuck's sake, that's that's why we've just seen one. Let's, uh, let's pop another one of our pills. You know what, I'd be absolutely fuming if I realized this thing couldn't tow <laughs> anything. Nice, okay. Um, you know what, I'm gonna try and siphon some gasoline from this just because we don't actually have a lot of fuel. Before we push on, let us check out the medical bit. It will also give us a chance to fill up our water bottles. Okay, let's see if we can find some more tablets for our schizophrenia. I think that'd be wise. 
Ooh, chocolate. We're going to eat all of that. And we're going to eat all this cereal as well. Oh, there's ice cream. We're going to have to eat all of that as well. Man, did you, I'm pretty sure this is good for energy, so we'll take that. Okay, is there not a door into the medical bit from the canteen? That's a bit weird. Right, have a quick smoke whilst we're walking there, mate. Oh, we are also very depressed. Let's take an antidepressant whilst we're at it. All right, we'll take all of these. Perfect. I could do with some neck armor if we can find that. That'd be quite good. Right, more antidepressants. Take them. Right, antibiotics, beta blockers, and painkillers. Take those as well. Oh my god, so much stuff. Right, all of that as well. More painkillers. You know what? We have absolutely everything we need to survive. So... It's time we hit the road because so far we are on what day again? So we're five days in. We've got all of this amazing loot. We've got an amazing vehicle and we've crossed the road. <laughs> That's literally all we've done. Watch me still die like a week in. I bet it happens. God, we're really tired already. We have absolutely... Oh my God, how do I get through? How do we get through? Oh shit. What's happened here then? Fantastic. It's a tiny bit of gate left. All right, let me just smash my way through here. Just before we go, oh, some more 308 ammo. Why not? We'll take it. Oh, some crystal meth. That'll go with our nice drug pipe as well. Oh, shit. Right, it's only 20 to 2, but I think we're going to sleep in our truck. Right, let's get some rest. Okay, 20 to 6, we're awake. Let's go exploring a little bit. Is there going to be much point exploring the little farmhouses now? I'm not, I'm not actually too sure. All right, let's get killing. All right. So we're going from a mansion to a military base to a small farmhouse. <laughs> Bit of a downgrade, but it's time that we uh, explore some normal places. Right, let's take uh, some of these snacks. God, we look so trippy. Uh, let's have a nice little cigarette. And you know what? I think we are just going to chill for the rest of tonight before we push on elsewhere. This puts us now onto day six of the challenge. Sounds like uh, a zombie's in there. I'm just going to leave them to it. They can have that base. I'm, I'm done with it. Let's have another quick smoke as well. Oh, hello. You're following me. I was just going to let you have the house, but no, if you want the smoke, we'll give it to you. Mm, I don't think I'm going to bother with these little houses for now. Whoa. Is there more stuff around here? There's another Hummer. Oh my God. And a trailer. I mean, that's, that's you know, a backup in case we, uh, we decide we want that. Ooh, I'm pretty sure there is a petrol station around here. I think this is one I've been to a few times in a few videos, so I'll uh, I'll push around to it. Yes, there is a petrol station. I don't think we quite need to go to the police station. Um, we will do, of course, but uh, for now, we're going to go straight to the petrol station, um, kill a few zombies, and then I want to fill up our vehicle. Ooh, there's a school bus over there. I would be quite interested in that to do a little um, nomad adventure. Shout out to uh, Mr. Egghat who does an amazing nomad series. He's just finished 100 days currently with one of his characters. So if you haven't watched him, I do highly recommend him. Oh fuck. Back when I used to play this game, I never used to use guns. Uh, I say back when I used to play it. Back before I used to make videos on this game, I would never use guns and I got quite good at like melee, away, uh, melee combat. I suck now. I'm so bad. I've completely forgotten how to do it. Oh, you know what? Um, I give up. Get the gun. Right, I've just attracted way more to me. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, I was about ready to take a break as well and uh, stop recording for the day, but oh no, I've uh, I've given myself a bit of a mission now. I watch YouTube videos when I film these and I keep getting ads every two minutes and they're not short ones, they're long ones that need skipping. It's really annoying. I just had some weird anime live advert come on. <laughs> not saying anime is weird, but that one in particular was weird. Sweet Jesus. Well, our kill count's about to skyrocket. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that's just jammed. For God's sake, man. Oh, stop jamming. Can people let me know in the comments if there's a mod to reduce how much guns jam? Because I always seem to have it to a ridiculous amount.
Oh god, I'm really not looking forward to reloading all of these magazines again. Oh, stop jamming, please. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've got to reload all of them now. Okay, we don't have anywhere near as much ammo on me as I thought we did. Okay, we've got a lot of zombies on us, though. Now, I know some of these zombies will have cool stuff on them, but I cannot be bothered going across this entire field to loot them. Oh, <laughs> hello. Well, we're massively upgrading our aiming and reloading. Oh, we're just picking up more the longer this goes on. Okay, our aiming is not good enough for this gun just yet. so many of them. I knew I should have taken the shotgun. I knew it. I seriously gone through all of that ammo? No, surely not. No. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We've gone through so much ammo. And look at how many zombies are still left. Oh, 340 kills. Okay. Um. All right. I really hope our truck's close enough to the gas pump because we just need to fill it up a little bit. No, we're not close enough. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, no. Oh. Oh, I don't know how strong these are. This could be a really bad move. I can't believe how much ammo we've actually gone through. Our aim was not good enough for that gun at all. Nah, uh, you know what? No, we're we're not doing this. We're going. We're uh, we're gonna have to come back here at a different point. Ooh, bookstore. We can go get some books from there. Wait, what happened there? Wait, we've dropped our gun out of the car. We had a jump scare where we saw a fake... That... What? Normally you drop your weapon when you see a zombie that's not really there. We've just dropped our gun and it's disappeared <laughs> out of the car. Okay. All right, we're going back up to the farm. Let's eat all of this cereal quickly. I can't believe we just lost our gun. I mean, it was out of ammo and it was jamming a lot, so it's not too big of a deal, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to work out what gun we're going to use next now. Oh, look at this one crawling over thinking it can still kill us. Oh, let's have a nice little cigarette as well. Right, okay, so what gun do we use next? We're going to change it up. We're going to use a different gun next time. I think maybe we switch out to the M14, maybe? Right, let's just take all of the 308 ammo and we are going to... Yeah, we're going to use the M14 for now. Right, let's just going to go in the house and we're going to work on our... Uh, getting our gun prepared. Right sit on the ground. Now, we have 10 M14 magazines. We're going to insert bullets in all of them. Normally, the 308 ammo is what you use for the M14, right? Don't tell me I've cocked this up. I might have picked up the wrong ammo. No, okay. Oh, I don't know which gun this is for then. Oh, shit. Okay, I've cocked up a little bit. Let me put the ammo back in there then. And the M14. And the M14 magazines. Sick. You know what? We're going to take all of the Stang magazines again. Oh, hello. For f fuck off. Right. I'm going to attach the M16A2 to my back. Okay, this needs Stang magazines. Oh, God. My brain is too small for this. And then I need 5.56 ammo. Open all... Oh, we've still got 22 of them. Sick. Let's insert bullets in all of these magazines. Okay, we have hit level 3 reloading. Get in. Okay, insert a magazine in there. It is only just past 9 o'clock, but I am going to send us to bed now as we are absolutely battered. 
and we wake up at 10 past 2 to more gunfire sound effects. So we're going to take a sleeping tablet and we're also going to pop out one of our pills for the schizophrenia and we're going to take that. Okay, we've woken up at 20 to 7 in the morning and we're looking a little bit better than before. So let's take a quick cigarette to start the morning. How are we feeling? Okay, so this does put us now onto day 7. On 7 days in, we have 366 kills. But considering the weapons we've got, that really should have been more. I thought we would have killed more. Uh, and these are our stats so far. Um, so we're going to push back out and we're going to go back around to this city. We're going to explore some of these houses first. Obviously, last week we went a little bit over the top with the killing, so need to maybe chill it down. Chill it down? Chill it out a little bit this time around. Let me hop out and get killing. Good morning, both. How are we doing? Oh, no, no, no. That is a horrific start. Oh, my God. <laughs> First zombie we see of the day, and we immediately get scratched. Okay, cool. This, this seems like the uh, start of a very bad day. Right, we're already hurt and we're going to be really slow now at taking on these zombies, so let's start the day with a chit chat. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, why well, I'm so bad at this game. Oh my god, there's more. Right, we need to go back and get some water, so <laughs> let's just lead them back up towards the house. We're getting very sweaty. We might have to take off a few of these layers, I think. All right, quickly fill these up. Okay, they're breaking in. Okay, I think I'm going to take the ghillie suit off. I think it's just too hot to wear it. All right, put the ghillie suit in there. There we go. That should stop us sweating a little bit, I imagine. Hello there. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's a fair few of these uh, zombies still lingering around. Now, we do really need to start using the melee weapons, so... Is this our gun that we dropped before? Oh, it actually is! Bucket of buttered theatre popcorn. Let's eat all of that. Yes, please. Let's put our old gun back in the back of this. Oh, fuck, there's still a lot. I mean, we'll try and use the axe for now. Okay. Okay, right, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm really regretting not getting the shotguns. Yeah, okay, that's better. I'm leaving it on full auto. I'm supposed to have second wind. Why is that not kicked in? Right, I'm fucked. Again, where's that second wind? I'm supposed to have the second wind trait. Ugh. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. There's a fucking furry behind me. I hope it doesn't kill me. I'm gonna try and get in the car. I'm so annoyed because our second wind hasn't kicked in. Oh, okay, that's us dead. Ah, oh, okay. So as a schizophrenic, we have lasted a week. 
and killed 400 zombies. That is so frustrating because I had the second win trait, which just refused to kick in for some reason, and that's us dead. So I'm sorry the video's ended early again, guys. Really disappointing, but I'll get this edited and put out as quickly as possible. Uh, if you do have any other challenges or ideas you want me to try out, do let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate all the support we've been getting on this channel. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Okay, guys, so this is the entire mod list for the video. If you are interested in any of them, do pause and check them out. I do recommend a lot of them as they are a lot of good fun.